the stutter notebook. The stutter reminds us language is a reversible accomplishment. Can't remember when exactly, went to hear a man talk, a famous man I can't remember now, but who had had a very bad stroke and he couldn't speak, couldn't speak for two years, had to learn like a baby basically how to talk and I remember very little, but he spoke slowly, thinking, careful every word and sometimes stopping seconds, just squeezing out a syllable. It was excruciating. And he read a poem, a long, long poem, mostly because he was so careful and so slow, making many mistakes, this man who climbed out of silence back into words. And the poem, I remember nothing of it at all except the stuttered refrain, let, let, let me, let, let, let me loose, let, let, let me loose. Loose, let me loose, let me loose, let me loose. To speak without a speech impediment is hubris. Truth is not fluid. Every jazz solo is the instrument stammering, I want. I wa wa I wa wa want I want I wa wa I want I want want I I want want I I I want want voice out of orbit voice kidnapped back into the primal sound poem. I want, just want you all the time, all time, all tied time, all tied time, want you, want, want. If language is the house of being, then what happens when I stutter? Does the front door open? Does the window break? made and unmade by language, what happens to creation when I trip over my words? A tear in the umbrella, a water-damaged imagination, stuttered prayers summon a twisted god, facing no face. There is no irony in being, I'm trembling fluff. There's this window, there's this wind, this wind blowing away this tongue tied me. There's no salvation in images. I was nine years old, alone by myself at the cinema. I sat facing the screen. And for no reason at all, I panicked. Something stammered in me. The flow of who I was interrupted, became so aware of myself, but my awareness was loss of place, loss of faith in gravity. Felt like I was not being yanked, but yanking myself out of the universe into nowhere. And the movie continued and the stupid pictures flickered at me without sympathy. Time and I have broken noses and half thing, half done in the nooks and crannies of having been am just and am not. I am an amphibian, a man. Amphibian, manphibian, I a man am a fib, a man, an amphibian, a fibbing amphibian, I am a frame, amphibian, I am a man, a man, a frame, a fray, a man, fibbing, fibbing, frame, I am a man and a frame and a fray, I am an amphibian. I spoke fluently until love went home and left me tongue-tied to its absence. 
dislocated night, the moon an emergency, my inner voice stopping, starting, looping, trying to leap over itself into non-existence. At night, you can undress the sound by pulling it close to your ears, the slurred fiat, God's first utterances to the darkness, let there be, let there, there, there be, let there, there, there be. an angel makes, saxophone solo of an animal giving birth, music with entrails, so might I die, untying the night, untying the clay from night, partitioning my ideas, so might I die, so night untying a garden, a garland of measured space, positioned in space, desire. Memory, I might die in a way of style without limitation, the night of ideas. I might die in all my clay and no limitation, not squandering breath, but full of me, meaning I mean, styled with star orientation, ornamentation, ideas and clay, untying dream from night without fear in the empty room, without fear the mirror, fear of the mirror, the designated empty space desire, dying secret in the nude, in the new so soul, so solo, the dying, the untying, felt the silence, the science, the calculated crossway of song and being, breath around, around breath, luring into the lungs, the science, the silence of the dead, the far coming, far reaching breaths mounting each other. I wish I were a crooked man on the cusp between standing and falling, speaking a diagonal sentence, leaning dangerously into hours, but never tripping into time. Want to tell it. The one story, the big, big story that was, was all call, all cathedral, all color. The story as big as a bull, bulldozer, clear, clearing the land of all wrinkles. I want, I want, I want to recreate the creation, everything. You in, you, you in verse, you reverse, you universe. One, one story, the one story could listen to, could listen to me tell it. The one story the universe could bend to. Here, to hear how one could bend the universe back to its big beg, its big bang, begging, beginning. A prophet's speech impediment. The tongue breaking its seal. Is this, is this a prayer? This is, I guess, this is, I guess, to God, a prayer. The one I once called father, but could have called mother, but to be completely fair, should never have gendered, only engendered from my own ribs, my own prayers. This is, this is a prayer, a dark night, a house, a burning request, Staircase prayer, secret, hidden by dark sleep. Secret eye stole from the house. The stairs creaking were this prayer, even if nothing, most certainly is something. This prayer is a staircase, up or down the dark night. Sweet guide, burning, my burning guest, my hope for guest. Please make these words. 
make you exist. God, I ask for love, not to take it, but to give it to you, the bridegroom, who perhaps laid his head upon my breast, who perhaps gave me fragrant elsewhere. My fingers touched your face, and I, in turn, was touched, overwhelming. But I forgot, perhaps, came to be abandoned, I guess, forgetting, forgotten, stuttering in the lilies. Thank you.